Hi guys, how are you? My name is Thrifty Pia and today we are going to learn how to schedule a free pickup on USPS.com. Now this pickup has saved me time and also gas money. There are times where I'll probably only have maybe two packages a week. Sometimes I'll have 10 packages a week. It really depends on how my sales are. But there are other times where I will have maybe a package a day. And who wants to go back and forth to the post office for a package a day, especially now with the new rules that they have of, you know, you have to wait in line or some post office, the one that I go through is pretty small, so you have to wait outside. So that 10, 20 minutes, I could use it for other productive things as maybe list more items or work on videos for YouTube. So today I'm going to show you guys a very quick and simple way to pick up a free package from your own doorstep. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to go on the USPS.com website. Okay, so now you're on the USPS.com website and there's some information here on the top. There's quick tools, there's mail and ship, track manage, postal store, business, international, and help. It's very simple. It's in the mail and ship and you're just going to click schedule a pickup. Now I do have an order that came through last night. So, so right now you are looking at the first step which says where should we pick up your packages. So I already went ahead and I pre-filled my first name, last name, home address, uh, city, state, zip code, phone number, and an email address. So these are the information that you will fill out for the first part. Now it is important that you have an email address that you're able to check on a regular basis because as soon as they pick up the package, they will send you a confirmation through that email address. And if there's any changes that needs to be made, it all, always has to come from the email address that you sent to the UPS office because that's the email that they'll be able to contact you on. So now the next step you're going to do, this is a privacy act, okay, you will read that information and then the next step you're going to do is check the availability. Okay, so now once it's checked the availability, it's going to say where should we pick up your packages? So we already filled that part out, so my name, my home address, my phone number, a an email address that I check on a daily basis in case if there's any changes. And now the second step is, is there a dog at this address? Yes or no? I don't have a dog, so I'm going to put no. Now the second step is, where will you leave your package? Now you have several options here. If you work in like a big office, you will say office, reception, or if you work at a warehouse, you know, you will put other information stuff you know in here but um, if this is set up for your home address I like to use the front door only because I'm able to check the packages and see who comes and pick up the package now if you have any additional instructions like if you worked at a warehouse or big office or even your home address for example when it rains or snows I like to put my packages in a clear trash plastic bag so I would say um, due to weather I will place packages in a clear plastic bag. That way when a carrier comes to my front door, um, you know, because sometimes they don't go to pack like trash bags like that, so you have to tell them. Um, and that way they could look. And then that way, one, it basically um, saves you as a, bot, a seller because your package is not going to arrive to the customer ruin. And two, um, a lot of times when we use those um, labels, they're, plas they're like a clear um, paper, I, I don't know the name, matted paper so sometimes if it's wet the ink could come off right off that package so that's why I like to protect my packages if it's raining or snowing I put them in a clear bag and then I will put the instructions on on that little section right there so now it's saying when should we schedule your pickup choose a time um, your carrier can pick up your shipment for free during regular mail delivery you could also schedule a pickup at Pacific time with our pickup on demand for premium paid services. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a part time seller. I don't make that much money, so I would not be able to afford a $24 uh, on demand schedule to be picking up my packages. Now, it is important for you to know what time your carrier comes and pick up the package because some carriers 
are first thing in the morning, some of them in the afternoon, some of them mid-afternoon. My carrier comes anywhere from 1 to 3 o'clock. So anything after 3, there's no pickup, there's no delivery. So that way I know I'll put up my package in the morning. I usually put up first thing in the morning, and then it sits there. Now if it's a sunny day or rainy day, sometimes I like to do it maybe an hour or two before he shows up because it's just it's too hot. So then I'm going to put pick up package. Now, the only time I probably would suggest using this, maybe around the holidays, usually around Christmas time, people will pay anywhere up to $50, $80, $100 for delivery, especially now with how things are going with COVID. A lot of people are already doing their holiday shopping, um, and they're starting to pay to get things there on time. Now, as we approach more into mid-November, early Christmas, your packages are probably going to get there later than what you had actually sent them out for. So your buyer might be willing to pay the extra $24. I think mean, that's something you want to include in your listing. Okay, so now you're going to go into choose a day. And it says here you could schedule pickups Monday through Saturday. You could also schedule pickups over multiple days or regular intervals if you create or sign into a UPS account. So earlier I said you don't have to have an email address, I mean an account, to sign up for UPS.com. But if you decide to have several packages pick up on um, several okay, like different days out the week, you will need a UPS account. And guys, it takes like two seconds to make a UPS account. So tomorrow is Thursday. I'm going to click the 22 so they can pick up the packages. And now it's telling me how many packages are we picking up. So Priority Express, Priority Mail, First Class, Return, International, Other. I only use two in the selection, Priority and First Class. We know anything over 16 ounces is considered a pound, so it would not go as First Class. It would go as Priority Mail. So I had a t-shirt that I sold, and I'm going to put about one package, because that's all I had, and it's asking me what is the estimate weight. Now, I know it's less than a pound, so I'm just going to put a pound just to... You know, that's that's the only option you have. So if you had 10, 12, 14 packages, you just weigh them all together and you would put the estimated pound. Now it's telling me I have read and understand and agree the terms. I'm going to check, but I'm not going to click schedule pickup because I just did um, a generated email uh, address just so I could show you guys how to fill out the section. So this is not a real address and it's not um, a real person. It's it's information I got online um, to generate fake addresses because I wanted to be able to show you guys how to um, fill out this information. I hope this video was useful for you guys. If you have any questions, please definitely email me below. Give me a thumbs up for this video if you like it and also subscribe to my channel. I have I'm going to reinvent my YouTube channel so I have new videos now on Tuesdays and Fridays. And also follow me on Instagram because I do do surprise hauls on Instagram. So it might be surprise bolo, um, anything that's going on in the thrifty channel world. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. And like always, thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I hope we, I hope I taught you guys something because I learn each day. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.